All right, y'all. Yay, more people. Okay, so this is going to be like totally chill. Um, if y'all didn't see, Maddie did like a Team Cup hype call with me earlier this week in Transformation Nation, but definitely go watch that because it was really good. Um, just to kind of give you background, she built from a team of like two people, Emerald Coach, to leading a two-star diamond. So building two coaches under her that have 12 people under them in five months. So she will tell you that she kind of sat for a while with her business, which I think we can all relate to, whether you've been here for a month or a year or six years like me, um, that sometimes there's just that moment in your business that you decide to go all in. And that's what Team Cup did for Maddie in, in February. So um, I know I have some questions. If you guys have specific questions, you can totally unmute yourself and ask them right off the bat or put them in the chat. Um, I know some of my team couldn't hop on live. So I don't know if you want to share anything specific before we kind of rapid fire at you, Maddie. Um, I guess, can you kind of like give us a little bit of background on you starting with Beachbody? Like, were you a challenger for a while? Yeah. Had you been asked about joining for a while and said no? Like, where you made the switch to coaching? Um, that background would be helpful just to form some of my other questions. Okay. So I actually started when DVDs were out. <laughs> um, I started with like 21 Day Fix. Then it was 21 Day Fix Extreme. I was having a rough transition after being a new mom. And I would struggle with massive binge eating. And then I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism and everything just was, it was awful inside of here. So I had to do something and my sister let me borrow her DVD. And then I used the containers for the 21 day fix container system. That was when we did not have digital, like anything online. So it was all paper form. It was in DVDs and do we even have DVD players now. Um, but then I started, I can't remember what it might've been in between. It might've been after my second daughter, I signed up for Beachbody on demand. It was something new out. I even had someone as a different coach, didn't even know who she was. And I ended up seeing that my, one of my friends from high school and I kind of got on board with her and she was a good motivator. She kept me motivating. She kept me motivated, kept me going, but I, I'd have my own issues. I would stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. And that's not necessarily where I wanted to be. And finally, my friend and I, she had two little girls. I have two little girls. We had a play date. And she was like, hey, I'm doing this 80-day obsession. She was like, I'm going to give you some bands just to try it. I was like, oh, my gosh. How long are these workouts? That's my initial thought was how long are these workouts? And I don't know how many people get asked that question a thousand times. How long are these workouts? And you don't know how bad I want to answer that, but then I have to sit there and think like, hey, I was there too. I was the one who said, how long are these workouts? Okay. And you have to understand that. Like it's from a new person coming in, an hour long workout is a lot of time and a lot of work, especially with two little kids. But she was like, listen, Maddie, you can totally do it. So I've never completed the program ever. I think I would skip five days, you know, maybe skip two days, maybe skip one day this week, whatever. Finally did that workout and I committed to it for a full 80 days and completed the whole thing. And that's when my transformation started to happen. And it wasn't until two years later that I decided to be on the coach. And because my coach, too, I mean, we're, granted, we're friends anyways, but because I kept seeing her post about it and seeing these other girls and this girl and that girl, and I'm like, I want what they have. I got to get in there. So that's kind of how I started. And I signed up August of last year. So almost a year. Yeah. So, so she was, did you hit Emerald pretty fast or was it slow? Yes. No? Um, well, it was, so in the beginning, um, I would sell the workouts and like containers and stuff like that because that's all I knew. That's what I knew and that's all I ever used. So I was like, okay, well, okay, let's see what this challenge pack is. I'm just going to try to sell it. And I think that was probably about till maybe three months in, I finally said, okay, let's just try to sell this challenge pack. So I did just that. And I ended up getting on a few people, maybe four or five people really quick, but I couldn't get anyone to 
build their team. They were more those discount coaches that kind of came in, got off, you know, came in, did their thing, left. And I just kept recruiting, recruiting at this point, recruiting and came up with new ways and new ideas and new, honey, go ask your father, please. Sorry, guys. <laughs> honey, I told you, don't bother me. Okay, go over there. Yes, get a snack now. Sorry, this is what she does and I'm on a call. See, this is what I mean, interruptions. This is why most people don't commit to their workouts because of interruptions. Um, <laughs> so, um, where was I? Oh, so about, it wasn't until probably, so I kept recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. Nothing was happening. I'm like, why am I not finding the right people? Then Team Cup came. Okay, and I was like, maybe this is what I need to do. Let me just get in here and see what these girls can offer. Get in this Team Cup. Got in Team Cup. Danielle was a complete lifesaver. She went over everything for me, discussed the back office, or my Instagram and everything. And you guys can go watch that video for more details into that. But that month right there, I went from hitting Success Club 2 to about 8. And I've made it non-negotiable ever since. If I wanted to go to 30, I could, but I do have kids. So it's not really, you know, aligning with what I want to do and my values with my little girls. So, but I mean, it, you got to make it your values. If you don't have kids and you are looking to make this business, your own and you know not have that job that nine to five job then i highly suggest you guys to go all in full force but always remember work smarter and not harder okay think about that okay so maybe talk about what shifted for you because i think a lot of coaches get in that mindset of all right I can do chop like they finally get over okay stop giving just bod right because we all know most people don't really are liars when it comes to nutrition, no offense. This is what I tell my team. Like most people need the nutrition over anything. Um, so like you you kind of make a switch from just doing bod, right? Then challenge packs, but then to recruiting team. And I think a lot of people get stuck at that challenge pack, like they can sell challenge packs a lot. And work smarter, not harder is building a team. The money in this business is building a team. The impact is building a team. So maybe talk a little bit about that shift and like what you did differently. What I did differently was honestly, it's not complicated. You just have to believe in that person. That's really it. Just like a child. If I'm going to ignore my child and tell her everything that she did wrong, do you think she's going to succeed in school? Do you think she's going to be a better child? No. What's gonna make her be a better child is me praising her, me giving her that attention that she needs and the guidance, and that in, in, re, in return is gonna make her grow. Same thing as a coach, guys. Recognition and the power of believing in someone. If you can believe in them, they're gonna believe in themselves. That's, I mean, that is literally the secret to that. Like there's not, it's simple. And in order to believe in someone else, you have to start believing in yourself first. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Okay. I don't know what else you're wanting there, Danielle, but that's no, about I, I what love, I, I can love, think of right there. I, I love simple. Jess, you want to go through your questions? You want me to roll through mine? Yeah, I've got one and it was kind of like prompted by um, the diamond dash, which I'm sure you're in to some extent to just keep growing. And so Keith asked like, what, like, what are you doing that's standing in your own way? And I ended up passing on that same question to my team. And a big kind of trend was like fear of failure, fear of judgment, um, fear of like what others would think of their business. Like maybe they'd started others in the past and had given up on those because their passions had changed. So a lot of it was really all of this like, what did I just read in the book I was reading? It was like anxiety around the what if versus fear, which is like a, a real right now. Um, are you experiencing any of those same things with your team where they are needing to overcome this step? And how are you kind of like walking them through that? Um, let's see here. I have a new girl on the team. She's like, Maddie, she was like, I don't know if I can do this. And I was like, yeah, you can. That's it. I mean, yeah, you can. Do you know, like, I mean, they all have their doubts, but so don't I. 
I have my doubts every day. And I'm going to tell you guys something like truth. And I, okay. So the one thing I am, I am very open with my team and I will tell them every little thing about me, about my fears, about what happened in the past and being open and transparent will actually help them get out of that comfort zone too. So being open and transparent is the number one thing, but I, I was open and transparent with them. And I was like, guys, a couple weeks ago, I was literally standing in the shower thinking, I don't want to do this anymore. But because I have a team of people sitting here watching me and that need my guidance, I am coming back for more. And because I know this is my true passion and this is where I'm supposed to be in life, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to show up. Even though on those days where I don't want to, I'm tired, I still show up. You just have to put your big girl pants on and go for it. That's it. And we do have guys on the team. And some guys have these issues too. Like the one was up all night the other night. Guess what? I get on the phone, talk to him. Like, I'm like, hey, what's up? How's your aunt? How's your sister? You know, what's going on? Well, he just unloaded on me. And more, I mean, just things just, I'm like, <laughs> so, I mean, there's, but just be transparent, be who you are and be yourself, you know? And if it takes, maybe you've set this standard, like I'm not getting on a phone call unless they have a scheduled phone call. I don't know if anyone here is like that, but I'm going to tell you right now, don't be like that. Because if someone has this issue and they need to talk to someone, guess who they're coming to? They're coming to you for that guidance and comfort. And it might not even be an issue about coaching. It might not be the reason why they're stuck in their own ways. It might be an issue with a family member that they just need to talk to you about. Okay, just be there for them and listen to them and be transparent yourself and tell your own stories. That's gonna open people up. Just a quick clarification. So when you're being transparent to your team, do you just have a team chat? Are you doing your own weekly team calls or where is that kind of all taking place? Yeah, we do our weekly team calls and the one week was about sharing your own story. And I've had people share their story that has never even talked before on our team. I couldn't believe it. Like there was a guy, he unmuted himself and he was just talking the whole time and he's messaging me and saying, Maddie, thank you so much for this. I'm ready to take this to a new level now. And honestly, that might be part of your guys' reason. If you're not getting your team to grow, it might be just they're afraid to share their story and it might take you sharing your story and breaking out of that comfort zone in order for your team to do that. Because as a leader, they're going to watch us exactly like a child. If I tell... If I tell my little girl, hey, Callie, go clean the house or hey, Callie, pick up your toys. Do you think she's going to do it? Probably not. But if I go clean the house, you can better believe they're bringing the mop, the Swiffer and everything behind me and cleaning with me. It's the same thing as what your team's going to do. You have to lead by example. If you want to. Yes, <laughs> we clean you clean. <laughs> um, if you guys want to lead by example, you have if you want your team to grow, you have to lead by that example. Okay. If you want them to grow, you got to lead. You got any others, Jess? Okay. Um, some of these, well, you can maybe dive into them in a, in a different way than we talked about before. So um, one from a mom who has four kids is asking about time management and simplifying activities to succeed. Okay. This is very simple. I want you to create your first, first, here's the first thing. You've got to create your own coach starter package. Have the links in there and make it, make it a template on Canva. If you pay for the upgraded version, hundred bucks a year, you can make it a template. And guess what? That's duplication. Your coach can create it, their coach, their coach, their coach, their coach. You never have to get on that onboarding call again with someone. You can schedule one onboarding call for a whole group of people and that is it. Okay, so make that template for your new coaches, make a template for your challengers. I know Mompreneur VA makes those. They're cheap, they're like 11 bucks. Why not? <laughs> so that's something I, do, I like to do. And I like to pick five things, five most important things that need to get done in my business, okay? So I pick those five things for my day, I accomplish them and I walk away. That's it, it's that simple. And using your calendar, Google Calendar guys, Hey, if it's on your calendar, do you think you're going to do it? Probably not. You know, so schedule it in there. And the other thing I cannot stress enough is don't forget to schedule your family time. Schedule time for your family. Block it off. Okay. 
Yeah, I think also like making sure those five things are business building activities. Cause I think a lot of people get caught up in like, well, I need to do the Canva layout or I need to do that. Like I'm sure Maddie wasn't doing that until she was hitting success club for the month, you know, or like hitting those nice right. jubble for the month because mm -hmm. that's extra like invites. I do them the first thing in the morning because I don't enjoy doing them, but then they're done and you feel so much better. And like, you've already accomplished that one big thing for the day. And you don't think about it throughout the day when you're at work and you're like, oh, I really need to invite, I really need to invite. And then you don't do it. Yeah. You're scared. Yep. And I'm going to tell you guys, I did not start those Canva templates until about a week ago. And if that tells you anything, it's possible to do this business, getting, just doing it old fashioned way, get on the phone call with someone, do an onboarding call, but it takes a lot of work and a lot, a lot of effort behind you. Now, if I want my team to grow more and go past two star, I've got to do something else that creates duplication. Because at this point, I can't manage these two people up here and keep them maintained and keep their levels maintained while growing another diamond at the same time and doing onboarding calls and getting on calls for people like to sell them with challenge packs and stuff like that. I can't do all that. So we have to create a duplication process at some point. And don't always be the go-to answer person, okay? Make them do their research. Make them be the student, okay? And tell them why. Tell them, that's, that's that thing. Tell them why. What is it? Wait, what does that mean? Like, so be the student. So what this means is when someone says, hey, how do I do share a cart? What I do is I want to say, here's what I say. I say, listen, when I started this business, I didn't really go to anyone and ask questions. I used Google and I used YouTube. And I said, I asked my question in those two platforms and every time I got an answer and I figured out this business so fast that I became successful faster. So if you can be the student and start answering your own question, just searching for them before even asking me and then come back to me and ask me if you have any questions after that, that's when you're going to be successful. And that's what you should tell people. Just say, hey, this is what happened to me. I researched. I became successful. I didn't get from one to two star. I didn't get to two star diamond by asking my coach every single question. No, I did my own research. I figured out how to go diamond. I figured out where those people need to be to go diamond. I figured out how to go emerald. I figured out what I needed for a success club. And I didn't have to ask anyone. I just used Google. Hey, it's 2020. It's called Google now. Right? It's called the internet. We can use it. So use that and then set the tone for your business. Don't, don't, I'm telling you, if you don't set the tone now, it's going to get worse. Agreed. Boundaries are so important because it's like, we want to help everybody, but you have to think if you want to grow big or even you, even having four people for somebody who works full time, like what can you do one time that can be used for everybody? Um, but I think that's true. Like get yourself to diamond and then start thinking about those things. Um, do you use a, tra so like talk about your tracking. Do you use a tracker? What does that look like on your daily basis? Cause I think also a lot of people get hung up on like, but what do you, what do you do? Tell us the secret, Maddie. Like what's, what are you doing that I'm not doing that I don't get it? Like what? Cause I'm not hitting success club and I'm not rank advancing. So like she must be doing something secret that I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to be honest, I don't use Beachbody's tracker system <laughs> because one, I am looking at those blocks and I'm like, oh my gosh, like there's this, there's this, there's this. So I've taken it and I've dumbed it down and I've simplified it. Let me, I want to pull mine up. Do you guys care if I share my screen with you guys? Okay. Uh, I just need someone to disable it. Allow share screen. Did it let you? Well, let's see. Yep, there it is. All right, let me see if I can pull it up. Let me see if I can find it. I gotta find it, ladies. I think it's in here. I don't know. We're gonna find out. There it is, yay. Okay, so the one thing I have written up for my people is called the form script. Have you guys heard of the form script? This is something that I absolutely love. It's actually in, a, it's actually, if you Google form script Beachbody, they have it all written up. <laughs> um, 
but it's a form technique. Um, and this is something I love to do in the DMs, like whenever I'm messaging people, it just creates that more sense of comfort. Like you get to know that person. You know, it's, it's, it's more natural, I guess. So it's like, where are you from? How many kids you have? So the, the F, the O is occupation, the R and the M. This is where you start in, um, you know, trying to get them on the phone or trying to get them, you know, to talk more about your challenge pack, whatever. It's just more right here. But this is kind of like what we do. So this is for our stories. First thing we do is morning motivation. So you're not seeing everything in there. Workout slash product. Sometimes I will do both of these just depending on how like energetic I am for the day. You know, I might just do one. I might not do one because one, I don't have to share Shakeology to say, hey, I sell Shakeology. You know, I always recommend to create that sense of curiosity. You want them to come to you and say, hey, what are you using? Hey, what workout are you doing? I love your home workouts. Like they seem so cool. That's what you want to create. Never put beach body, never put Shanti. Don't put any of that stuff on there. I'm telling you. Like mute it, put some music on it, cover it up, run with it. <laughs> That's something that Danielle told me to do in posting. Don't ever put beach body. Um, then we do like a healthy meal, a transformation shout out. It's always really good to recognize people. So we could do a transformation. Sometimes I'll do a shout out to a new coach that came on or a new challenger, maybe for just um, hey, look at this girl. She took a step forward. You know, she's, we've been chatting back and forth for a couple months now and she finally took the plunge to take her life, but you know, take her life back and make, you know, be, you know, be happier, whatever you can put, whatever. Um, and then daily life. So does that seem simple enough for some new coaches coming on here? It is. It's so simple. We message 10 people daily and we use the form technique. Okay. Post in our workout group. Check in with your coaches to make sure their products are up to date. You know, you got to check in with your coach, make sure your products are up to date, whatever, or theirs. Um, drink Shakeology, workout, personal development, and daily social media post. It is not that hard. I think people try to complicate this business so much to the point where they're not, they can't even think straight. And it doesn't have to be complicated. You can make it so simple and be successful. Yeah, I so agree with that because I think that, you know, you have to remember that there's so many different people that run this business and we, we can run it different ways. And that's the coolest part about it. But in those things, she's still hitting every four vital behaviors, right? The only thing that I'm, I know my coaches are going to ask next and is one of my questions is what does inviting look like for you? How often are you doing it? And especially, um, I know Jess Ars on here was asking about coaching invites because you did go from just doing challenge packs to a big team. So what does that look like for you on maybe a weekly basis? I'm going to be honest. I'm a mom of two. I will invite while I'm running the sweeper. I will invite while I'm laying in bed. I will invite while I'm sitting on a toilet. Okay. So just so you guys know, this is my lifeline and I will do it every chance I can to invite someone and share their, and I almost, you know what? I don't even want to call it inviting because it's an opportunity. Okay. I'm not inviting you to come in. I'm giving you this amazing opportunity and what it's changed in my life. So that's, I like to call it an opportunity in all honesty. So the opportunity to have 24 seven accountability, have an amazing group of people to stand and support you every second of the day to have that group of people cheering you on when you feel like you're going to grab the jar of peanut butter. Cause it's my biggest weakness. Um, <laughs> and when you don't want to eat it and when you know you're not supposed to, to have that opportunity to be able to maybe pay for your groceries this month, you know, that opportunity, you can't, you can't put a price on that. Spending more time with your children. No one can put a price on that. And to have that opportunity, that is everything. And when you, say that to a mom or someone else. I mean, even maybe the groceries are were the biggest worry for them. And now you got them covered. You know, you can help them do that. You can help them take their life, you bring their life, you bring happiness into their family. You know, here's the thing. You always say, the one thing people like to say is, oh, you're only hurting yourself whenever you cheat on your diet or cheat on your meal plan or skip your workout. No, you are hurting a lot of other people around you too. One, because of your mood, your tiredness, your laziness, you're affecting your whole family, not just you. 
And people don't understand that. You know, you cook an unhealthy meal, guess what? Your, ch your children are eating an unhealthy meal. So you're not only hurting yourself, you're hurting your family and your kids too. So that's what I love to preach to people coming in. And you couldn't, you can't tell me 160. The opportunity to change your life today with all of that is 160. How could you say no to that? I mean, really? How? That's how I say it. So how did you change and, and it's so true like also guys the nutrition programs with nbf like i just can't even it's flipping unreal because those are 140 dollars themselves so with nbf coming out tomorrow preach it but how so you had your two diamonds come in during team cup month right how did they start did they start as challengers and then go to coaches like how did you approach the coaching opportunity with them maybe speak a little bit about that. Cause I think people always want to know, but how do I get coaches? Because they want to build a team or they want to build financial freedom, but they're like, but my challengers, like you said, they go in and out, they skip their Shakeology. They're on their Shakeology. They piss you off because they go MIA. Like, and I, you, you and I, we all know coaches are your most consistent customers because they're in the beliefs there. So how did that transition go for, especially your two diamonds that you built? So those two diamonds, honestly, I had a really good relationship with them. And that's number one, no life trust. We were already past that trust part. We were like brothers and sisters. <laughs> and when we came to that, I mean, they, they signed up and it took me a couple of weeks to get them to sign up. I just kept sharing what I was doing and sharing what I was loving. And the one, I'll never forget the one guy who came aboard and he actually lost his job because of COVID and he signed up and he had $49 left to his name. He said, okay, lived in my car before, but this time I have a nicer car. If I have to live in my car again, I will do it. And he came in and rocked house. He hit diamond within Danielle. Was I, was it his first month or I'm thinking Calvin hit diamond his first month. Yes, he did. Yeah, you better be recognizing that stuff. <laughs> Prove he sure did. Do it in a month. It's not hard. Yeah, and you know the one thing he said to me, and I said, Calvin, why did you succeed? Why? And I said, you know, I said, you know, you. He was already a fit guy, and you know that's the other thing. Like, I mean, I target kind of fit people. He was already a fit guy. He came in, and he was like, well, he was like, you know, I kind of do my own workouts, but here and there, you know, if I can, I'll do the beach body workouts when I'm stuck at home. And he said, I'll do them. He said, they're, he said, they kick my butt in all honesty. He was like, that's why I don't do them all the time. <laughs> and, uh, and he said, well, the one thing that you did was you believed in me. He said, every morning I woke up, there was a message from you. And he said, every day you were always asking me questions, whether you knew the answer or not. And that showed that you believed in me. And whenever I believed in him, like that's all he needed was to take off. He just needed someone to say, Hey, I got gotcha. you. I got your hand. We're good. If we fall, we fall together. We'll get back up stronger. You know, and that's the biggest thing. Like, I mean, Ilika over there, Ilika is a good friend of mine too. Um, I mean, I can't even like, she, I mean, she's just had a massive impact with Beachbody. She's lost 130 pounds with Beachbody on demand. So that right there, she's already has the belief with the Beachbody system. And if she's already believing in the product, she already believes in the workouts. So if you bring on someone that doesn't believe in that, then guess what? You better believe in them. And that's the biggest game changer. I have two girls, one from Florida, another one, um, she just jumped on. And I, you know what, this other one, for some reason, I keep seeing her like, hey, this girl's going to go, she's going to go big. So you know what I did? Was I put her butt in team cup with me. I put her butt in team. She's never even sold anything ever. And I said, hey, I don't know. Something told me, add you Team Cup. You're going Team Cup with me. She was like, all right, I got it. You know what? Got a message yesterday. Hey, Maddie, my sister wants to sign up. She was like, what do I do now? And I said, here, Maria, you have your coach. You have your new coach starter kit. I said, I want you to go through it and figure out how to do that. I said, you should be able to find a section that has some information about the coach back office. And I said, after you get that done and once you get her signed up, then let me know. So that right there, I believed in her and I pushed her. I pushed her to take it to a new level. Sometimes that's all we need in our life is someone just to push us.
Yeah. And trust me, we're adults. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about hurting someone's feelings. We're not going to get our feelings hurt when someone says, hey, I'm taking you to Teen Cup. Right there, it says, I believe in you. Okay? Hey, reach out to someone. Have wow. them. You know what? Reach out to wow. someone on your team. Wow. Hey, I'm talking. Can I tell you something? What, honey? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, I oh, I love you too. Um, reach out to someone and push them and maybe have them do a, you know what, guys, if you're not good at doing graphics, reach out to someone on your team. Say, Hey, I love your work and what you are doing. Can you make these graphics for our team? Or Hey, maybe it's, Hey, you're awesome at posting. Do you mind writing me a post right there is going to show that you believe in them, not putting extra work on them. That's showing that you believe in them. Trust me. People will do anything to get that recognition from you or that like they want to feel needed. People always want to feel needed. Okay. And whenever they can feel needed, then they're going to do that extra work for you and push harder for you and your team and well, their team too. Okay. That's the best advice I have for that one. I'm loving this. And I know we're probably watching the time. So hopefully this is a quick one. I just stalked your Instagram and keto's mm-hmm. all over it. Right. And so can you talk about, are you advertising like a keto meal plan for people? Cause that's not something that Beachbody really has. Shift shop kind of goes into it, but like, it's not, you know, at the forefront of things. Um, how are you handling Shakeology with that for yourself personally? And how are you bringing, you know, the Beachbody products to people who aren't doing keto when you don't, when it seems like you're probably not doing that yourself. So I know it's like three questions in one, but it's all together. You're good. Who on here is doing keto? Anyone? Low carb keto? No one? Who? You are. Rachel. I am. Yes. <laughs> okay. So this will be really helpful for you. Okay. Um, what I did was I, so I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism, meaning my body plummets. I don't really have a metabolism at this point. Um, I have a body temperature that stays at 96 and say like you put a piece of butter in a pan and don't turn the cook like turn the stove on. Guess what's going to happen? That butter's going to stay there. It's the same thing that was happening inside of my body with Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism when you have a low metabolism. So what do you do? You got to heat that body up. And one way to do that is ketosis. Okay. I actually got certified on keto because I lost 80 pounds with it. And it's truly saved me, saved my life. It's, it's taken my anxiety down. And, um, anyways, so let's just fast forward. (laughs) Um, I was downstairs one day working out and I started thinking about like, how can I do this instead of tracking my macros on carb manager? Cause I really didn't want to do that when I was 90 years old, honestly. Um, and I was like, wait, I got these little containers. I wonder if I can reformat the whole list of foods and make myself go into ketosis. Carly, take her downstairs, please. Um, so I reformatted the whole list of foods, took out the yellow, took out the oranges. I know oranges are, I know you're going to say, oh, well, those are nuts and fat. I know. I put them in blues and tablespoons. We made this less complicated, okay? Two, an orange is just tablespoons. It's okay. It's two tablespoons. Um, so I reformatted it, and I t- took it to three different calorie ranges for people. So I always do three cups of veggies a day. That's for every single person. One, because we need our potassium in this, Okay. Number two is the red containers. Red containers are going to be, they're going to increase according to what your weight is. Your blue containers are your healthy fats. Your own healthy fats, dairy, seed, yeah, seeds, nuts, all that. So you're going to be limited for those because taking too much cheese, guys, guess what? We stop. Okay. That's something that I've learned. Like a lot of people on ketosis, all you see is I just eat cheese. Like I eat cheese. I, all I keep is my carbs. Under, you ain't doing, you're not on keto. Forget that. <laughs> You're doing a uh, high, increase my cholesterol diet. Sorry, she's crying. Brody, just take her somewhere, honey. Okay. Okay, sorry. Um, but anyways, so I've recalculated all those. Tablespoons are healthy oils. The fruits are, you only get one purple. Now here's the kicker. When I did Shakeology, Shakeology does have a little bit more carbs in it. When you see 15 carbs, guys, that's really not the carbs. Okay. We subtract fiber from our diet. Okay. Because fiber has no effect on our sugar levels. That's why we subtract those. So we take it to a net carb. The vanilla has nine net carbs. So if we do a half a scoop, it's only four and a half net carbs. 
If I do the cafe latte, I'm looking at six carbs. So Shakeology is completely fine in my diet. I just can't do a whole scoop. And it's perfect if you're going to go for a run afterwards because well, it is a low glycemic, so it doesn't really kick you out of ketosis as long as you stick with half a scoop. It's completely fine. Um, the other thing I love is Bevy. Bevy is a great product for those on keto. The collagen, the digestive fiber, the power greens. I can't speak highly enough about those products, but Shakeology's changed me and my cravings and everything. I haven't tried the Bevy yet. I'm going to next month because I have two bags of Shakeology. So I'm going to switch what I'm ordering. I can't do the Bevy and the collagen or the Bevy and the Shakeology and Energize and the performance line all at once because it's too many carbohydrates. I can't. So what do we do is we take Shakeology one month, we cancel our order, put another one on auto ship, cancel that one, put another one on auto ship and just do half scoops for everything until everything runs out. <laughs> so I've, I've learned that. Um, do I preach a lot about keto? I used to in the beginning because that's what I was focusing on. I do say things here and there, yes, because it has changed me and I want people to know that keto and Beachbody can still work. And whenever I created this keto container system, Chris Downing and I actually partnered up and created a challenge from Pangea Keto. So it was Pangea Keto, which was a meal prep company, my container system and Chris Downing. We took those containers and I measured them out according to what Pangea Keto frozen meals were and showed what the container count were for keto for his Pangea Keto meal. So we had a full 30 day challenge while running this with Chris Downing. So it was a really cool experience, but it has been, it does work successfully within the beach body world. I have a girl who lost 55 pounds within four months doing Shakeology beach body and just, you know, my container system. That's it. Well, the keto container system, I should say. No, I think that's so cool because it, it's true. Like we forget, you know, performance, performance line and Shakeology are such vital components. Like we got, we know that's like our bread and butter for Beachbody, but because she's passionate, because she has these medical conditions, she said, instead of, well, I can't do that. It's how can I make this work for me? And I love that mentality because that's really how you have to be successful in this business that what she's doing isn't going to be for everybody, but she can reach her people her way and make it work for her while also still serving, you know, an everyday normal person that just needs a challenge pack. And I think that that's really a good testament to all of you to know you don't have to figure all out all of that stuff. You might not have those medical conditions. So how much easier does a challenge pack look to serve somebody, but also knowing that you have somebody on your team that you can go to if somebody is asking you about keto, you don't have to be an expert. You can go to Maddie and say, hey, I'd love to pick your brain on this. And that's how I look at it. Because it's true, when Maddie started Team Cup, like her whole Instagram was keto. And we, we seriously had to talk about it. And I was like, so how's this working for you? And she's like, well, it's not really working for me. And I'm like, okay, my team knows what I would go into. I asked them, what are your five things that have nothing to do with health and nutrition? And it was hard for her to come up with that. But like now, Maddie, what are those five things that you're focusing on the brand of yourself? Oh my gosh, I can do five and more <laughs> because I've actually taken the time to really learn about who I was. Like, I love the beach life. I'm a country girl, uh, mom life. I love quotes. I love interior decorating. I mean, I could just, I could keep going on and on, on and on and on. Books, well. I'm getting into that. I don't like to read, but I force myself to read because I want to help my personal development and my leadership skills. Okay. But it's oh, and that's the other thing too, guys. We have other people on our team that just don't do beach body nutrition. Why? Because they have issues with, they have other conditions as well. Ilika over there lost 130 pounds on beach body and keto. And guess what? She still does Shakeology. She's made energized work for her because she does it right before her workout because it's a fast acting glucose that can actually help a person in ketosis build muscle. Okay. There, we have people on our team that actually does vegan keto. We have people that are just strict vegan. I mean, there's so many, there's a pescatarian keto person. We have so many people and I believe that's why people come to our team because of 
you know, we do incorporate that in what we share. Sometimes I will more so share it in my stories about a healthy keto meal versus my actual feed. Why? Because that's only 24 hours. And I don't want people to feel like if they come to my team and they have, they have learned, you know, people around me know that they don't have to be keto to come into my world. Well, I can't do keto, Maddie. You don't have to do keto. You don't have to do what I do. I'm going to do keto, but you do what you want to do. That's it. I love that. Okay. The last question I have, and then obviously if you guys have any others, please put them in the chat and we can speed it up or unmute yourself. Um, the other question just our had was how do you deal with objections? How do I deal with objections? First off, I don't give them a chance to give an objection. <laughs> um, one, I relate to them. Number two, I do my homework in the DM before I even get on the phone. Okay. First thing I say is, Hey, I'm so happy that you commented on my post. Tell me a little bit more about yourself and what your goals are. They give me their full life story. I even got someone saying how their dog was going in for surgery. Yeah. Okay. This is a full life story, guys. You already know their objections immediately when they say that. Okay. So if they tell me that they're struggling with binge eating, they can't tell me that they're not going to do Shakeology when it helps with binge eating. How could you say no when that product helps? So if you can do your homework in the DM, I'm more so, I like to get on a Zoom call face to face. Why? Because I'm a visual person. And I feel if that person is going to be committed and they really do want to sign up with you, they're getting on that Zoom call. Okay. That's something I really like to do. It makes it more personable too. too. So I get on there and I mean, I will just say, Hey, so happy we got to chat. Okay. You know, so you want to go from, you want to go and get rid of your, you know, you want to be more happier, healthier and get rid of your binge eating. Is that correct? There again, they said, yes. Okay. They already told you. That's exactly what they want to do. Okay, perfect. So let me go and tell you a little bit about our program. And then what I do is I say, you know what? Can I actually share my screen with you? I will share my screen, the Beachbody screen with the challenge packs. And I'll say, okay, we have this option over here. And it's like the mega pack with all the products in it. Okay. But I also have this option too, if this would work better for you. And that's the 160, the basic Shakeology challenge pack. Now you're going to get a full year's worth of workouts. You're going to get me as your coach. You're going to have access to our private group and community. We do, we do live video workout calls. I'll do them with you separately if we need to. You know, might just be me and you, and that's okay. We can act crazy, dance, whatever you want to do. Um, you're going to be a part of an awesome community of women just like yourself, even some moms, so there will be kids jumping on top of us. It's okay. Yes, you know, so I try to pull out huge more too because when you can pull emotions out it's really good to you know getting that cell so is this something you're interested in and they're like oh my gosh yeah you know i mean you could go more into detail about how they're getting the shake but i'm not doing that you know you guys know the you know guys know the drill of that um okay is this something that you're interested in okay perfect okay so why do you feel like you'd be a good fit for our team i don't know i'm this this and this okay perfect and then I'll just sign them in. I'm like, okay, first off, now here, we do have this other option too. You're going to get a discount with this. And it's also going to give you a chance to pretty much, you can do this discount coach, get discounts for all of our products, or you can be what we call a hobby coach, where pretty much I like to say it as you can get your nutrition and your health and fitness journey paid for. So pretty much you won't have to pay for your whole health and fitness journey if you become a coach. You know, we'll get you work and we'll believe, I mean, I already, I already believe in you or else I wouldn't have got on this call with you. You know, that's kind of what I say to them to hype them up. And they're like, oh man, yeah, okay. And I, you know, I stay on the phone with them. I stay on the Zoom call until they check out. And then once they check out, I go ahead and get them started on their onboarding process. Okay, here's, your, here's this. Go ahead and send that over, send that over. Okay, I'm going to stay on the phone. Like I, what I'll say is I'm going to stay on the phone with you while you get checked out in case there's any issues. Okay, go ahead and get signed out. Go ahead and get checked out. I just sent you the link through your email address. Boom. It's done. It's complete before you even get off the phone. So you're not waiting for that cell. Oh no, I sent that link. Did that person check out yet? Oh no, did they? No, I'm more so like, check out. Let's get you started today. Well, I got to wait till next week. Okay, first off, if I'm wearing a blue shirt now and a blue shirt in five minutes, what changed about that shirt? Nothing. I'm like, okay, same thing next week. If you wait till next week and today, what's going to change? Nothing. I'm like, okay, get started today. Let's go. You know, you could lose 10, 10 pounds by next week. Let's go. <laughs> you know, really, in reality, all water weight. But 
You know, so that's like the little things you've got to hype them up and you really got to let the conversation lead itself onto what their objections are, what their struggles are, what their goals are, and where do they want to be in life. Okay. That's really it. Talk to one girl, you know, and here's the other thing. Like the one girl, she told me she didn't have money. So am I, I'm not, I'm not pitching a challenge pack. I'm not pitching a challenge pack right now because this girl already had a hard time believing in herself. The coach she had before, she, she called Beachbody and switched coaches and got me as her random coach. This girl is doing incredible. We talk to each other all the time now. She's from Canada. <laughs> she was talking to me about her husband and I, I didn't even put her on the, I did not even put her on a, as a coach. She will be eventually, but she's just not ready yet. Okay. And that's our job as a coach to figure out who needs to be a coach and who just needs to start out and be a basic customer with Beachbody On Demand. And it's okay either way, okay? Because one, one day, this girl is going to be my top coach. I can already tell you, even though she's not a coach right now. So we got on the call. She said, I'm having troubles with, I'm, I'm struggling, Maddie. I can't afford Shakeology. She can't afford a Shakeology? Okay, that's $130. So don't pitch a challenge pack, guys. <laughs> I'm just telling you, okay? So I was like, okay, listen, why don't we start you with, $39, you know, get you in the door with our, our workout program. That's free for your first two weeks. Get you the containers. And then let's go ahead and get you um, the power greens too, because you don't like eating your veggies. So I was really thinking about that. So here's how I like to think of this too. It's either these people can develop some type of condition in their life where they have to go to the doctor. And by golly gee, if that doctor prescribes you a prescription, you're going to go get it filled because it makes you feel better, right? So that doctor and that pharmacist can take the money or we can. You take your pick. Okay? Change those people's life. Have an impact. Mic drop. I feel like that's like a <laughs> post headline. But I will also say, because when I started Beachbody, I was very scared about the cost of things. And my coach was like, well, why don't you just have two friends join with you and offset your cost? So like, don't discredit giving the coaching opportunity. I actually looked from one of my coaches from 2016 today. I sent it in our group chat and I was like ballsy Danielle back in 2016. Cause one of, one of my friends messaged me. was like, tell me about this beach body stuff you're posting about. Like, I want to learn more about it. And I was like, cool. You want to learn more about coaching? We have a call this Wednesday. You want to hop on? I didn't even go through any of the questions. I just went, went for it. So I think also it's like Maddie's saying, you got to just like feel out that person. If their social media is on point or they have good energy or you think they'd just be freaking awesome. Like that's what I did to Jess R. I was like, why aren't you a freaking coach already? You're posting in the groups. You're doing all the things like get your booty as a coach. What are you doing? And it's that belief factor, you know, it, it's, it's so true. Um, any other questions y'all had for Maddie? This was so good. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to thank you, honestly. I'm on vacation right now, and I wasn't going to hop on, and I am very glad that I did because what you said about objections just made me, like, totally just think about how I approach conversations, and not giving them the opportunity to object was just, like, really powerful. Like, if you know about their goals, you know what their objections are before they even say it, and you know your way around that and how you can still help them, so... Thank you very much. Like, that was awesome. I love that. You're welcome. The other thing you guys can do too, real quick, is before, so you can roll out objections, is after you ask them what their goals are, they're going to answer something. And then you can say, hey, perfect. I have a customer or a coach just like you. And then tell that person's story. And then say what you offer. Are you interested? Then get on the call with them. Yeah. Like imagine if you guys, I know it seems like a lot of time too, if we are working full-time jobs, which I think pretty much all of us are, but like, imagine if you just scheduled two or three calls this week in your schedule and made that your minimum. And even if one of those people signed up, y'all are easily hitting success club every month. Then one person a week out of two or three calls a week, like you're walking them through the process. You're getting the share cart done. Like they're in, they're ready. They're psyched. They're pumped. Like it's, to me, it's better to spend an hour on the phone and walk someone through and get them signed up than spending, I don't know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days going back in the DMs and being frustrated as heck when they don't answer you. And 
they have every, every excuse under the book, like, yeah, I, heck yeah, I'd rather spend that hour and get them signed up and started. Yep. And I'm going to tell you something too, guys, is I have so many calls, so many calls booked. Sometimes I have to call some of my coaches on my team and say, hey, can you take this call? You take the challenge pack. Take them as your coach. I mean, that's how, like, if you make it a non-negotiable, you will build your team faster than a shake, faster than you can shake a stick. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, you guys make it non-negotiable. Like, honestly, I'm just going to take three calls. Three calls happen in a day for me. Okay. If you keep going every single day, make three calls your everyday thing. Okay. You don't have to be long. They can be short and sweet. Make them Zoom calls too, because when you can read a person's emotions, it changes the game a little bit versus over the phone. Okay. And you know, once that happens, you're going to be saying, Hey, Calvin, I need you to get on the call, buddy. You got to take that person. Hey, I leak it. Can you do this one? Hey, Ro Mel. Hey, Ray Mel. I mean, that, seriously, that's what happens. <laughs> Sorry, we have a Ro Mel and a Ray Mel on our team. It really gets confusing. <laughs> hey, yeah. We have like 10 Jessica, so. <laughs> no, I, I love that. And I think it that is that does differentiate us guys like we're a relationship people building business for healthy lifestyles for the long term so like imagine how much that's going to mean to that person spending that time that you truly believe and care about them so i love that and i'm challenging each of you to at least have one phone call this week get on the make phone. it a video call and it builds your confidence yeah. too right maddie like Sure does. When I was on my first live video, my hand was like this, shaking. I said, hey guys, this is my first live video. I have no idea what I'm doing. That was my first, that was my opener. Yeah. And, do you and you can better oh, believe I've done that before too. Hey, this is my first time being a beach body coach. Bear with me. I've got to figure out this share card. <laughs> it's literally what I said. And I got that first sell because I was being open and this girl was laughing. She was like, oh, I was like, sorry, I'm a, I'm a beach body coach in training. <laughs> and we were laughing together, you know, so that happens. Love it. Any other questions you guys have? Cool. Well, MBF's coming out tomorrow. So go follow up tonight. People feel like crap on Sunday night. So it's a really great time to be like, Hey, remember when you told me you wanted X, Y, Z, like, we're starting tomorrow. Let's go. Get them on the phone this week. Talk to them. Believe in them. Um, this was so good. So good, Maddie. And I'm sure we'll have you, Thank on you. call soon. And if you're not on Team Cup, get on Team Cup. And let's go crush the end of this month, guys. Happy Take on some new people, too. Take some new people that you've just signed on in Team Cup and really challenge yourself. So we did. We have three new people on Team Cup. We are not going to win it. <laughs> That's not true. You're going to crush it. But I guarantee you, we will get the, no, I'm going to get those people to Emerald. I will do that. Okay. So. All right, y'all. All right, guys. Have a great week. Happy NBF Christmas tomorrow. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday.